In today's video, we're continuing my quest to pull every ghost you're ever made with two vintage Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another old school opening, which I know, Legacy of the Valiant, Primal Origin, not necessarily what we consider vintage these days, but these sets are like over 10 years old at this point, so maybe vintage is the wrong word, old, I don't know what to say, old sets, we've never pulled either of the ghost rares in these sets. And shout out to Kip K for purchasing these on my website when we saw did the big sale video. He purchased these, asked these to be opened up. So we're opening these up for Kip today. So hopefully Kip gets some good luck and helps us with our ghost rare journey. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Duelist Pack Special Edition. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below where we get a ghost rare in either of these boxes. And what is your favorite ghost rare ever made? All right, enough dawdling around. We got two booster boxes to be opened up today. Let's Let's just, uh, let's open them both at the same time because that'll make it more fun. So let's slice these things open. Classic boxes. I've had these laying around for a while and uh, a lot of these boxes that were kind of in the same lot I purchased at one point and pulled Ghost Rare out of like three different boxes so far. I think the Blackwing was one of them. I'm trying to remember what the others were, but we, we went crazy. We kept pulling Ghost Rares out of the boxes from those lots. Primal Origin, here we go. Let's see if we can pull something great today so primal origin legacy of the valiant i don't know which one will do better maybe we'll do a little mini box battle i mean we have two we have two boxes here we might as well do a little box battle while we're at it so let me know which one you think will win legacy of valiant or primal origin they're both first ed so we'll have a little score going up as we go i am gonna shuffle both of these just for fun so i'll be right back all right let's start with the left of the left so we have uh legacy of the valiant you know left side of the left box here we go i don't know the pack trick but i figure we will find it out as we go ghost Rick museum we need to pull these ghost rares one of these, I think it is Legacy of Valiant, has the Mobius the Mega Monarch, which used to be a terrible ghost share. There's Utopia Roots. Uh, but it's gotten a little better as we go. I personally have always thought it was a really cool looking one, and the foil on it looks great. So it would be pretty exciting to actually pull that one for the first time. This ghost share is the Bujinki Amaterasu, which I've always had a lot of these cards, but I've never actually pulled one before. So it'd be pretty cool to actually do that. We have number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk. That's kind of an awesome name. That's a Star Trek slash Star Wars looking ship. Thunderbird. Battle. Ooh, Battle and Boxer Veil was a pretty nice card in my Duel Links uh, Masked Hero deck for a while. It's pretty good. Heliosphere. We have Ancient Gear Box, Botanical Princess, and a Scrap Factor. We're starting it off 0 for 2. We have not figured out the pack tricks just yet. We are doing our best. Here we go. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying other videos recently. We've been doing a lot of cool stuff. I feel like the videos, we've had a lot of good like, concepts and stuff and a lot of good pulls to go along with it. So make sure you let me know how you've been liking those. And if you have not seen them, maybe you just are a new, new viewer, you've missed some recent videos. We've done a lot of good stuff. I mean, we've opened a lot of cool packs. We've done you know, uh, TCG player mail opening. We've done the LOB first dead opening. We've done every legendary collection opening. There's a super rare Escalation of the Monarch. So it looks like it is just three from the back on Pryo at least. So super rare. Starting off our first foil of the video. Very nice. We have also done um, every year opening where we open something from every single year. There's some good packs in that one. So we opened some pretty old and rare stuff. We have Inter Interplay Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Beast. There we go. Release Reverse Burrs. Sereneco. Yeti. Overlay Booster. Snapdragon. Seed, Sylvan Peacekeeper, and Bujingi Hair. So another super Bujingi Hair. This one I also played in Duel Links at one point when the Bujins came out. The hair was one of the ones you needed. So very cool to see that. I don't know what the values are on those supers. You know, usually supers aren't too crazy out of these sets. But, you know, sometimes in this era, supers can actually be insane because they haven't had a reprint yet. We have Destroy, Artifact, Blizzard Thunderbird, Ghost Trick Warwolf, and the band played on number four, C43 and number 48. So basically in this kind of set, I'm expecting Ghost Rare is like 1 in 12. So very tough. We've got about, you know, 1 in 6 chance because we've got two boxes. Uh, the, that's for the Ghost. The ultis, I think you usually get one. Maybe one ulti, one secret, Bougie Unity, and Gorgonic Ghoul. That's honestly a pretty cool looking card. I like that. Secrets, I feel like are in the same ballpark. And then ultras, you get like two maybe. And then a few supers, maybe like two, maybe like not two, four supers. I don't know how true that is because I'm always guessing in this era about what the exact ratios are. Galaxy Dragon, Ghost Trick Knight. Let's see, Ghost Trick So Cute Boss. I didn't know Ghost Trick So Cute Boss was so old. Very interesting. Okay, Legacy of the Valiant. Just two supers pulled so far, so I definitely shuffled these toward the end, it seems like. We have a Chronomaly Wing Sphinx, Ruxin Special, Gorgonic Ghoul. 
Can of something. Purge Ray. Mighty Warrior. Snapdragon. Whoa, Roxin special right to the secret. Here's one that I always seem to, I don't know if I pull it or I just, it feels like I have them everywhere. Imperial Tombs of the Necro Valley. Secret. So there's our first high rarity card of the video. I didn't shuffle everything to the end because there, there we go. Secret rare. Pretty early on, actually. First set prio. Good thing is we should have, you know, multiple of everything, hopefully, because we have two different boxes. Artifact, Fallen Knots, Sylvan Water Slide. I don't know what, I mean, I haven't opened these like a ton compared to a lot of the other sets like with old school we've opened a ton because they're old and i'm always looking for them with the new sets you know obviously we open cases and cases this is kind of in that era like zexel and arc v and stuff like that where i never really opened a crazy amount but i also you know i visit them sometimes to get the ghosts and stuff like that so that's what we're trying to do here uh we really need to pull both ghosts at some point bujangi fox and Gorgonic Golem. Is uh is the Xyz Gorgonic in here? I think it is. It's a pretty good card. And uh Duel Links. Yeah, it was it was good in Duel Links for a while. Crazy, I know. I make a lot of Duel Links references. You, like a lot of people are like, why do you make so many? The reason is because I played a lot more Duel Links than I did TCG. So it's like anytime you would make a TCG reference when you see a card you use there. Oh. Vampire Vamp. Duel Links. The reason is because that's kind of where I played a lot of my Yu-Gi-Oh was in, was on Duel Links, or it was originally back in the day when I was, you know, I was just mashing 1800s and 1850s and 1900s with my friends, you know, just dominating and using trap cards and stuff. So that was like, you know, really early on the first few years and other people had moved on and I was, you know, moved on to like better strategies, but I was just a kid. So I was just using the same stuff. So no, 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 Buster, Cerberus. That's why I make so many Duel Links references, if you were wondering. Paladin of Photon Dragon and Gravekeeper's Ambusher. I didn't know there was a Gravekeeper in here. Interesting. I'm guessing at this point, you know, the flip effects and stuff is just not going to be great. In uh, Maybe back in Zexel era, maybe you could get away with it back then, but not anymore. Artifact, we have Hydra, Grocery Gall, especially with, like, when Pendulums came out. Heliosphere Dragon. Slip near Mail, Vanish Sage. We have a number C43. And no penguin, no penguin, no penguin. I love that. That's a good one. I got to pull that one out. Okay. So one secret so far. No ultras yet. Still no ultras, no ultis, no ghost. It'd be great to pull those. Let's see if we can get something. Taco Crusader, Sylvan Blessing, Spy Plane, Majingi Swallow, Crusader, Carrier, Swordsman from Distant Land, Oath of Sh Companionship, not Championship, and a Sylvan Blade Defender. I like how they, they really like mashing words together in this. We have no penguin. We have Blade Defender. Like putting two words together. It's kind of kind of hard to say. All right. So far, Kip, you're doing pretty decent. Let's see if Kip can get something else awesome. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I should have done four. I should have done three. Okay. We have Bolt Penguin. That's an awesome card. That is an awesome card. Number eight, 48. We have Unleashed. Lotus Swain. Slip Near Mail. Thunderbird. Evo Singularity. Xyz Universe. And 100 foot horror. 100 footed horror. 100 footed. Not 100 feet, 100 footed. Okay. This set just has very difficult names. Let's just say that. First set, Legacy of the Valiant. Not Legacy of Darkness. That's what I would go for when I hear Legacy, but Legacy of the Valiant. Gorgonic Golem. What is that? Gorgonic Guardian, maybe? What is it called? No, not Guardian. Cerberus Purge Ray. Maybe we'll pull one. I think it's a rare in here. Gargoyle, Jack Frost, Hint of the Necro Valley. And Kalantosa, Mystical Beast of the Forest. I always thought this was just a strange looking card. It, it has like more Magic the Gathering vibes, I feel like. It's an interesting card. Primal Origin, can you bless us with something crazy? Number 48, we got Artifact, Bouge Incident, Bangle Tech, Parade, Shogi Knight. We have number C103 and a number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. There we go. That is a beautiful looking Ultra Rare. Our first Ultra. That hollow hits really well in the right lighting. That is beautiful. First edition ultra. Pretty nice pull, Kip. All right, I see you. Making a run here at some nice pulls. We're doing decent so far. One, two, three. We have Overlay Sentinel, Dark Artist. Gorgon, man, that Dark Artist is pretty creepy. We have Skeleton, Ghost Trick Skeleton. Ghost Tricks for MBT. We have uh, Grip Keepers, Heretic, and the Kalantosa. Add it again. Uh, let's try not to get out of order here. I feel like... I'm going to mess this up and be ahead on one or the other, but here we go. We've got 100-footed horror. We've got gimmick puppet, gazer shark, last counter, heliosphere dragon, vanish sage, diamond core, number 80, and a double dragon descent. Very nice. Laval Vol, bless us with a ghost rare, our first one. We need one of these. One, two, three. We have Alpa Caribou. Alpa Caribou is what I'm about to say. Cool. The, bu the Buster. Doo-doo Buster. Do-do-do Buster, not doo-doo. 
<laughs> the Doodoo -doo Buster probably wouldn't be on a Yu-Gi-Oh card. We have uh, Nikitama and we have Ghost Trick Museum. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm struggling reading these cards big time. Pryo, give us something that is not gonna, you know, get me canceled. We have a uh, Reverse Breaker. We have Bougie Intervention. No Penguin. Very nice. Phantom Nine Hydride and the band played on. Oh, Ancient Gear Box, I dropped you. Band of Sage, Trap Tricks, Delonia, and it's an Xyz. Ooh, a secret rare, Bujinte Amaterasu. So this is the ghost rare. It comes in secret, it comes in ghost rare, and it comes in ultimate rare. So here's the secret, the lowest in version, but that is a really nice card. I actually think I need that one to get for my binder, which is, it's it's falling behind. I have not been, I need to dedicate more time basically to update that thing. I've just been kind of like over the years, just letting it kind of build itself. You know, as I get collections, I find something I need, I go ahead and grab it, but a lot of times they're not near mint, so then I need to replace it anyway. There's an ultra rare Gravekeeper's nobleman so as it's you know grown, grown more full it's getting harder and harder and harder to get like cards i actually need and uh that has definitely happened over the last like year or so i haven't added too many cards okay we got bold penguin battle and boxer 100 foot horror galaxy dragon bella talk we have shogi knight we have dawn knight oh wait is there another card in here we have the monarchs erupt so okay no penguin again more hollow cards so we are halfway through the opening so far hopefully you guys enjoy this a little bit of a longer we had a lot of a lot of long videos recently i will say that it's been over 20 minutes a lot recently and i think you guys are actually enjoying that which is great so if you're not, you like shorter videos, let me know. But I feel like a lot of people these days, there's a Ghost Trick Yeti that's cool. Gugarnet Guardian. It's a common in here. Very nice card. Oath of the, of the Companionship. No, I keep wanting to say Championship. Too much basketball. Skill Prisoner. Very nice. Too much basketball. All right. Uh, super rare. But yeah, now I can't remember what I was... Oh yeah, my binder. It's been slower recently, but... It's a work in progress, and when it's finished, it's going to be epic. That's all I got to say. Heliosphere Dragon, Battle and Boxer, Galaxy, Tyranno, and number 48, Shadow Lich. <sighs> so far, I feel like we've had pretty good pretty good pulls overall. Like, there's been some good stuff. Rose Witch, Dark Artist, Rocks of Special, Silver Blessing, Cerberus, Seed, Purge Ray, Seas Avenger. We got Sylvan, and Sylvan, Gardorok, Garder, Gardiok, Garder, Garder Oak. Oh, Guardi Oak. That's what it is. It's it's like an oak tree. Okay. Cherub Sprout. I finally got it. We got the Bolt Penguin. Try and guess. I will try and guess that we're going to get a Ghost Rare right now. Trap Tricks. Okay, we're not going to get a Ghost Rare right now. Maybe next time. Laval Val. One, two, three. Can we do it? Can we pull it? Release, reverse, burst, spy plane. Xyz, Xyz override. Moy Carrier, Black Bracky, that's another Duel Links card. Avenger, Onomatopera. That was also, I think, big in Duel Links for a while, but I didn't really play during that point. You know, I haven't played every era of Duel Links. I definitely take breaks. I'm not playing right now. Been a while, number 42, but Breaker Descent. We have Slepnir Mail, Bengal Tech, Warwolf, Parade, Augustus, and Cherub Sprout. So, okay, we're on a culture. Okay, so we've gotten ultras. We've gotten see two secrets. We haven't gotten any ultis yet and no ghosts. So, ulti is what we're really hoping for, I guess, the rest of the way. Ghost, obviously, we're hoping for, but that's going to be hard. Number C6 or C92. Hoping for those ghosts, but I am not counting on them because there is a small chance we get one. If we get one of them, we're going to be happy. Especially if it's like, you know, gradable. That's pretty hard to get. Number 43, Diamond Core. We have Singularity, we have Mech Phantom Beast, O-Lion, and Sylvan Charity. Very nice, with another Bolt Penguin at the end. And his Electro Whip. His arms are Electro Whips, that's kind of weird. Sylvan Charity, another Ultra. So the Ultras are mounting up at this point, which is not a bad thing. Let's go Legacy of the Valiant, guys. Legacy of the Valiant, Laval. Bless us, baby. Tackle Crusader, Dark Artist, Photon Charge Man, the Jewel. Gilga Gilga -Gil Lancer, Standoff, Swallow, Ghost of Dullahan, and Starship, Ship. Spy plane. Okay, ship ship. Pryo. Come on, baby. It's like the old days. Well, yeah, I guess Pryo is old. It's an, it, They just cha changed how it works, I guess. It still exists. Vanish Sage, a Gladiator Beast Augustus, and uh, Achilles Sheet. Oh my goodness. We're maybe two thirds of the way through. No ultis yet. No ghosts. So we're uh, getting a little nervous here. Come on. We need to pull something big. Ghost trick. Neko Musumi. Crusader. Blessing. Buster. Steed, Ruxin special, right to the Gravekeeper Shaman. There are a lot of Gravekeeper's cards in here. I did not realize this. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, Gravekeepers are a cool archetype. They're just not really holding up these days. Which, you know, these days, this is not a these days set. This is pretty old Bush Intervention. But back when this was, like, the current set, everything was completely different. In, like, the world, <laughs> in the card game, in what people were collecting. I mean, everything was different. The prices were way cheaper back then. I mean, if you started collecting back when these sets were new, you would be loaded right now. Your collection would be absolutely insane. Mighty Warrior, Gorgonic Guardian, 
Brachio, Snapdragon, Ghost Rig Delahan, and Ghost Rig Museum. So, yeah, there is a lot, uh, a lot has changed in the last 10, 12 years, whatever it is. Artifacts Unleashed, which, you know, I wish we had known, you know, look back, wish we had known to collect all this stuff a little bit more carefully. Oh, is that a second secret? Gladiator Beast Nerokius. Wait a second. We already got a secret out of here. We got the... We got the, whatchamacallit, the, the ghost, the ghost guy, what's his name? Yeah, the Amaterasu, so that's two secrets in one box. That, I feel like that's unusual. I hope that didn't replace our ulti, but it definitely could have. It definitely could have, but either way, I mean, two secrets in one box. That's not, that's like a new thing. Like, that happens in new packs. That didn't happen in old packs, I feel like. Unless, maybe we're about to pull one out of here, too. Gorionic Guardian in Temple. Oh, and an ultimate rare, not a secret. Number C101, Silent Honor Dark. I think this is one of the best cards in the set. And check out the ulti. A lot of people don't like the new ulti, which at this point we have another new ulti, so this one's not even new anymore. I love this. I think it looks really cool. The only problem is it can get dark, like straight on. It's a little bit hard to see, but the shine on it is really nice. Number C101, Silent Honor Dark. That is a nice pull. All right, it's not crazy in value. I just looked at it. It's not like insane or anything. It's like 10 bucks, but either way, it's a really awesome looking card. So it feels good at least. I would maybe take a look at that. I mean, I like personally, if I pull a card like that that's like 10 bucks if it's in like gym mint condition i will check it out and see if i can grade that thing because something like that probably doesn't have a ton of population there's a uh, tachyon chaos hole because you know it's kind of an era it's like past the original vintage stuff the gx and then you get into 5d's ghost shirts and stuff like it's not in that era so like that's kind of what everybody's focused on grading if you can get something like that in a psa 10 those can be like 150 bucks stuff like that i mean they're like pretty solid cards and if you just send them in a bulk submission which you can easily because they're 10 dollars cards uh they can you can really do pretty well there over uh, we have the booster and a chronomaly wing sphinx uh and plus it's just a cool card like if it has like you know one of the best cards in the set but the set doesn't have like a crazy expensive card it's like that is something that like people might at some point be like you know i like legacy of the valiant you know it's a really cool psa 10 card with tentacle princess and a number 48 so i don't know i maybe take a look at that uh kip some good stuff i don't know or maybe you just want to keep it you know some people don't like to collect graded they like to get in their binder and stuff like that we have my carrier brachius skeleton cerberus number c69 and alpha Cari caribou not caribou <laughs> you want to say caribo that's not a caribo that is a tree they're from kirby or something there's one back for prio i'm hoping we get a ghost out of prio I mean, maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll get a, all right, sorry, an ulti. I would like a ghost too, but I, I would hope we get an ulti as well. But two secrets is making me think maybe not. Legacy of the Valiant though, getting a secret and a pretty cool ulti, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Gorgonic Golem, we have the Sphinx, Interpenetary, Purpley Thorny, Dragon, Gargoyle, Dragon Ritual, Overlay, Booster, ZW. Oh, and a Gravekeeper's Oracle. Dude, we are pulling... This is the Gravekeeper box. Gravekeeper's left and right. This is insane. Gravekeeper Oracle added again. That has a uh, Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1 printing. We are down only three packs left. Okay, Primal Origin. Let's go. Overall, been a pretty good opening, I feel like. We've had some good cards. Fall Knight, nothing like crazy valuable because that's really the Ghost Shards in these kind of sets. Aegis Parade. I would love to pull one of those, though. Phantom Knight, let's do it right now. Number C80 and uh, Artifact... Achilles Shield. I don't know what the score is right now. Here's the score. We've been popping it up throughout the video, but here it is right now coming into the last pack. Legacy of the Valiant. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. One, two, three. Can you pull something big like a Ghost Rare? We have XC Shift, Sylvan Guardi Oak, Golem, Gargoyle, Swordsman from a Distant Land. I really like the artwork on that. That feels really old school. Gorgonic uh, Guardian. Okay. Sylvan Akuma Shroom. And. Oh! Exceeds. What a tease. Very nice. And Gunnar. That would have been an amazing last pack. But either way, another foil. Can't complain about that. And that brings us to the final, final pack. Primal Origin. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. If you have as well, make sure you check out some current videos. You know, they don't have to be current, but recent videos, older videos on the channel. I've got over 1,500 openings. Go check it out. Here we go. We have Unleashed, Fail Knight. Shout out to Kip. Let's see if we can get him something big in the last pack. Avo Singularity. We have Bagaltak. We have the Princess and uh, Bouge Intervention. Okay. So overall, not bad. A two secret box. Pretty unusual. Let me know down below. Did Pryo have two secret boxes or is that like an error or something? Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Sudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Side Show, Ian Booster, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.